Hi, welcome back to the channel, Brian ZL3 XDG. Um, been trying to make this little video for a few days now, but the weather's been uh, pretty uh, disastrous for for the beginning of summer. Anyway, here we are out in the uh, out in the garden, and um, it's yeah, it's not too not too bad of a day. I don't, I'm, I'm just as I say that I can see uh, I can see. Um, the uh there's quite a bit of mist up on the where where are we quite a bit of mist up on the mountains today <coughs> this is um look at antennas again of course and i'm always trying to uh i'm always trying to get a better signal around the world that's uh that's um that's the basics of it and as as um as uh <coughs> as some of you know we've we've tried a lot of aerials here um, a lot of them don't work, just don't work at all. Verticals have worked best, and um, just over um, somewhere over this way, we've got the uh, we've got we've got the 40 metre uh, vertical antenna. Uh, we did have a 20 metre vertical antenna, and uh, we actually changed that into three uh, a three element parasitic vertical antenna firing long path. Long path is quite important to me because um, I'm a full time carer. So uh, I only mainly get on the radio of an evening time, which is long path here, evening here, morning in the Europe and the, in the UK, etc. So I'm only really interested in antennas, which were firing long path. So the three element um, uh, uh, parasitic vertical that I made worked extremely well for me compared to the single element. Uh, <clears throat> and then more recently, um, I uh, through um, through Peter G3 OJV. Hope I got the call sign right. Um, um, put me on to um, uh, elevated verticals, and basically what happened from there, some of you might know, um, just behind me uh, here, we've ended up with uh, a 20 meter elevated uh, vertical, uh, which which was so good. Uh, all the other 20 meter verticals all uh, all came down it was so good and it's still proven to be just uh, just a great a great antenna i just can't i just can't believe you know even on on qrp and everything like that it, it, it's just outstanding i'm having a fantastic time with this antenna thanks very much peter and uh, and other people who've uh, who've helped and tried this antenna and and, and so forth <clears throat> but always you know looking to um I was looking to try and improve. Um, somebody said to me, "Well, Brian, the, the next uh, the next step is, uh, you, you know, why don't why don't you put a why don't you put a beam up? Why don't you put a beam up? You've got a bit of room, um, and so you know, sort of the idea is, you know, a single pole with a homemade um, twenty meter um, two element beam firing a long path." As I say, I only work long path. It, you know, it wouldn't be that difficult. I wouldn't need rotators. I wouldn't need, uh, you know, hoists and all these things. So, um, <clears throat> after um, after uh, after putting a beam up and doing some initial tests on the air, I, I haven't just had a, lot, had a lot of time to do a lot of tests, but initial tests using um, the reverse beacon network across Europe and I'll show you some of these results a bit later um, I actually got between 5 and 17 dB uh, gain over the um, over the single vertical um, ele ele elevated vertical I got uh, as I say and my first QSO yesterday on the air was with um, G4 um, Bravo Whiskey Sierra uh, Nigel in the south of England and um, I wanted I wanted to I wanted to test test uh, test myself a wee bit, so I went on the QRP 20 meter call and frequency using five watts. And uh, Nigel gave me five, five, and nine, both ways it was actually. Um, so and, you know, and as I say, between five and 17 dB, you know, <laughs> I'm just um, I'm really I'm really astounded, um, but. <laughs> I can, I can, I can see some brains, you know, going like this, and all. So he comes. <laughs> nothing's ever straightforward and simple with me. Yeah. So he comes the, uh, he comes the story killer. Um, um, 
No, we, we didn't have a look around. We didn't um, we didn't put we didn't put a two element beam up. You know, my dad always taught me use your brains, not your brains, uh, son. So thinking thinking that uh, <laughs> thinking that this um, this new um, and as you can see, it's just a pull in a tree. You know, this is. This is any. This is something anybody can do. It's 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 you know you don't need paperwork and computers and all these things. This is so down to earth and basic. This antenna, this twenty metre um, elevated vertical, which is you can see just by the feed point, it's only two metres above the ground. It works so well that um, I thought, what's the next simplest thing I could do? <laughs> and obviously going on past history the next simplest thing you can do <laughs> is uh, just put another one behind it and, and make a parasitic you know five meters uh, tall five meters behind it and um, make a parasitic so no it wasn't uh, it wasn't a two element horizontal um, being that I put up in the air it was just simply another pole behind it um, we which created a, a, a parasitic element which is um, it's got this has got two radials um, on this one two meters off the ground and as I said the results were the results were as if I had a two element in the air <laughs> um, 5 to 17 dB gain 5 watts uh, CW into the UK 555 five, five results both ways uh, you know um, let me just turn the camera around and get a bit of a bit of a closer look look, look at this. So here we are. Here, this is the um, this is the original. This is the original twenty metre um, elevated vertical, um, which is this one's actually got. Um, I don't you can see around here actually. Could come around this side away. This actually got four radials, four radials just going down into the uh, <coughs> tied off to wee sticks there and uh, yeah all you know all it is basically you know, we've got a seven meter pole we've got a a, um, a five meter vertical um, element that's uh, built RF into it there's nothing flush about it um, I will put more um, more um, information on about this if people want it it's so simple it's just so simple and um, as, as I say um, yeah, never. <laughs> um, and directly behind it, how lucky, how lucky is you know is this? Let me go this way. We can point that way. Directly behind it, over here, we've got a, fi a tree which is a tree stump which is five meters away. You know, I, 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 we've got a few trees, but this is how simple it is. Um, another pole, another vertical, elevated vertical. Um, literally just strapped to the tree and the vertical wire goes up there and this one's only got two ra two radials on it <coughs> elevated radials now um how how how, how simple how simple can it be uh, i'm just um uh, you know yeah so yeah i've got a i've got a two element beam but it's a vertical one. I, I don't. Uh, I don't need to put. Um, I don't need to have a tower or a mast. I don't need to have a big, um, a big um, <coughs> two-element horizontal stuck up in the air above the trees, which, which, which you know, um, don't really need that. When I've got an antenna, which is, um, which is just another pole st stood behind a, another pole, and gives me that much gain. Um, and um, as I say, I'll show you some of the results um, on the uh, on the computer later. That, that's it. I'm not going to go. Um, I'm not going to go on about it. I'm not going to. I mean, obviously, um, if if like if you're not impressed with 17 dB gain <laughs> with, um, with with a, with a, with, a, with a couple of um, seven meter poles and, and and a couple of bits of wires, you know. I mean, as you can see around. Um, I have got property. Um, uh, I, I could easily put a tower up. Uh, I've got uh, garden goes way up there somewhere. I could put a tower up 
I could put any amount of you know quads beams on the top and all the rest of it. But uh, as I said before, um, my dad said you know always said to me you know you use. Use use your use your head, not your brawn, son, and you get somewhere. And this this was the first obvious answer is to uh, put a put a second element, um, parasitic parasitic element behind. So simple, uh, literally took me about I think twenty minutes uh, to set it up. Went on the radio, did some tests, fell off the chair, <laughs> fell off the chair, um, and then as I say yesterday, five watts into the UK. With um, with such a simple antenna that probably a lot of people could manage to stick it somewhere in the garden. I could guarantee you'd probably be able to stick this in the garden somewhere easier than a tower with a 20 metre beam on the top, or you know wherever uh, wherever you might uh, attempt. And and the cost uh, the cost is um, you know hugely uh, hugely different. So there we go. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm, I'm so pleased that I, I tried this. I'm so pleased it worked. And I'm so pleased I'm able to uh, share it with people. And just to uh, let people realise, you know, you don't need a lot, of, a lot of garden. You don't need a lot of towers. You don't need a lot of... You definitely don't need a lot of big amplifiers. Uh, dear me, 5 watts, 13,000 miles um, around, to, uh, around to the south of England. Why, why, why would I spend, I don't know, what, say a thousand pound or, 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 or more buying a tower and an amplifying when this gives me the same amount of uh, results? Yes, I know it's not uh, directionally directional. It hasn't got a rotator and all this, uh, simply because I only work long path. That, that's, uh, that's uh, unfortunately, it's the, it's the only way that I can, uh, I can operate um, uh, with circumstances, as I say, because I'm a full-time carer. And spend a lot of time looking after my wife in uh, in bed and in a wheelchair and that. So there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, take take uh, take from it what you want. Um, send send some comments, send some emails. Um, get on the air, look for me. I, I've actually uh, worked more G stations recently with um, with uh, with these elevated verticals and any of the ten- antennas I've worked. So if if they're working for me. The, the chances are that they could work. They could work for you, but boy, what what fun it is, um, and what a great hobby we have, you know, where we can just put a simple pole up and make make a yeah, huge effect, you know, and uh, and get great results, and and it just revigorates you uh, all together. Of course, going on um, going on CW. I must admit, you know, it, it's uh, I've got a skill. I've got a skill like a lot of other amateur operators have. Uh, the skill is, uh, you know, uh, myself and a lot of others learnt CW, and we we reap the benefit of it. Um, I did look around sideband yesterday. Conditions weren't good. Went on to CW, narrow filter, um, and <laughs> no problem at all. CW is uh, is uh, is God's gift to uh, amateurs. I, 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 my brother, um, my brother used to say. Radio. I'll flick up a few little statistics and that, and anybody needs any specific measurements, um, just just let me know. It's not a problem. But um, there we go. Um, quick, easy, um, two element vertical tower amplifiers, balance, and um, you know, you know what I'm like. Yeah, all the other things we don't really need to get some great enjoyment out of our hobby. Right, catch you a bit later. I'm gonna go in for uh, gonna go in for a coffee. Bye for now.